Over the past few years, Apple has transitioned an increasing number of their products to USB-C. It started with the 12-inch MacBook in 2015, and since then, the port has been added to most iPads and the rest of the Mac lineup. But something is notably missing, the iPhone. Apple has resisted using USB-C on their most popular product for nearly seven years, and that's finally about to change thanks to the European Union's policies. But first, let's take a step back in time, because this story starts with the original iPhone. When it was released in 2007, most cell phones used mini and micro USB connectors. But the iPhone used Apple's proprietary 30-pin connector. At the time, this made sense, considering most people already owned iPods, which also used the port. So there was relatively little backlash against Apple, because existing cables and docks would be compatible with the iPhone. However, three years later, another transition took place. The iPhone 5 was being developed, and its thin design meant it would need a smaller connector. USB-C wasn't ready at the time, so Apple created the Lightning connector that's been used on the iPhone to this day. There's a great video from Apple Explained that goes into this further, so I'll link that below. But that decision to develop a new connector meant taking a fair amount of criticism from customers. No one enjoys having to spend more money on new accessories for their phone to charge and connect. As a result, Apple has avoided changing the iPhone's connector for the past seven years. But the charging cable landscape of 2022 is vastly different than it was in 2010. At the time, nearly all laptops used their own proprietary chargers. Conversely, most new laptops today include USB-C charging, sometimes exclusively. In addition, most new headphones, wireless charging pads, battery banks, and much more ship standard with USB-C. The tech market is inundated with USB-C cables, ports, and devices. And like I mentioned earlier, even Apple has been moving their other products to USB-C. And there's been increasing pressure for Apple to simplify their customers' lives by switching the iPhone to USB-C. It would decrease the number of separate cables needed when traveling, cut back on e-waste from unneeded cables, and much more. But customer demands aren't the only force at work. The European Union has announced legislation that would force companies like Apple to use USB-C. Their arguments are similar to customers. A common port would make things simpler and be better for the environment. And if the government steps in, Apple won't have much room to negotiate. But let's look at the problem from Apple's perspective. Their argument is that e-waste would actually increase because the existing lightning cables and accessories would become useless. But that doesn't make much sense, because there are also USB-C cables and accessories that are not being used because they aren't compatible with the iPhone. There's also a financial aspect that Apple doesn't frequently mention. Lightning accessories must go through a certification process to function correctly with iPhones, and that means companies that want to use the connector on their accessories must pay steep royalties to Apple. It's a nice source of extra profit for Apple, and they aren't interested in losing it if at all possible. But with customer demands for USB-C surging, environmental activists demanding change, and governments imposing regulations, I'm optimistic that Apple will finally adopt USB-C on the iPhone 15 at the latest. It's great for customers who will need fewer cables, and it's great for the cost of accessories, because it means companies won't be required to pay Apple's expensive royalties. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Apple will make the switch, or do you think they'll hold out as long as possible until they're forced to? And as usual, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.